Hey, so welcome back. I had a leftover um, subway art thing that I printed on cardstock from yesterday's projects. So I wanted to do something with it. I looked around everywhere for a canvas to like mod podge it on and I couldn't find anything. So I thought maybe I'd get some wood. Now I'm gonna show you how crazy laziness takes over. Um, I'll show you the end product and then I'll show you how my mind <laughs> and my laziness took us on a journey to get there. So here it is. I um, don't know if you can really see that. It's a big piece of wood. So I found a piece of wood that I was like, oh, maybe I could plaque it on. Sorry, that's my little plaque it on this wood. Um, but I didn't want to cut the wood. I was too lazy to get the saw. So then I thought, oh, well, maybe I could just get family photos. So I printed family photos off on cardstock, but they didn't fit on the piece of wood. So I had to like rough tear the edges. But I was like, oh, that'll look okay. I'll make it look all whatever. Um, distressed or whatever. So then I mod podge them on, but this wood. First I stained the wood, but I didn't wait for it to dry. And then I and then I put glue on the back and I stuck them on the wet stain because I'm really lazy. And then I mod podge the front, but I didn't use photo mod podge, so it was all streaky and they looked really, especially this one looked really really pink. So instead, a normal person would have peeled these off, you know, and <laughs> restuck them on, but I was feeling very lazy. So I just rubbed stain over top and then wiped it off to give it this aged, distressed look and it totally covered up the pink. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm not putting this in my house. So I decided to clear coat lacquer it a couple of times with outdoor clear coat lacquer that I already had and put it on my front porch. It turned out really good and it was free, just with the stuff I had laying around. So then um, what I did was, sorry, I'm holding Milo. I wanted to make like a little outdoor, I don't know what you'd even call this, display so it wasn't just a board. And so I, I took old pots that I had and I turned them upside down to set pumpkins on. And I covered them with some tooling that I had downstairs and then some extra leaves from the dollar store. And I got some $3 pumpkins and a $6 mum. And I put that up on an old pail I had. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see it down there, an old red pail. And then I got these great corn cobs from a friend of ours, Steph and Larry, They're, they have a farm. So I tied those onto the front to sort of hide the ugly pot and it turned out really good. It was really, really cheap and that is my fall porch decor. So I wanted to share with you. Sometimes when you start doing something um, and you make a mistake, you might end up going with it and it turns out better than you would have expected or better than you would have thought. So sometimes the worst mistakes turn out to be the best surprises. Not really sure what your tip is unless you want to plaque some paper on wood. It turns out it's really, really easy. Just make sure you use the photo Mod Podge so you don't smear it. I just printed it off on cardstock, you put Mod Podge on the back and then coat Mod Podge on the front and you can pretty much plaque anything, pictures, subway tile art, whatever it is you have in your home and if you want to have it outside and waterproof just spray it with some clear coat lacquer. That's your tip. We'll see you next time.